Hello and welcome to your stimulus check and stimulus package update as of November 3rd, 2020. It is election day and I hope everyone has voted the best they possibly can. Hope you don't mind my green screen, let it disappear here and there. Um, but as regarding your second stimulus package and stimulus check, Nancy Pelosi says that the Democrats, if the Democrats gain control of the Senate and they retain control of the House, that she will fast track the stimulus package. I'll inform you how they will do that a bit later in the program. If you stick around for me. Okay. Pelosi says that if the stimulus package passes in November or December, that we will actually get an additional stimulus package next year because she says more help will be needed in 2021. Pelosi says whether or not Trump wins, she has a plan to handle it either, either way. And a little bit of COVID news France, Germany, Belgium, and England are locking down again. Our seven-day rolling total, rolling average for the United States, is increasing for COVID-19. Uh, when the second stimulus check and package passes, will depend on controls, basically the House, Senate, and the presidency. I mean, if it's all Democrat, it'll flow smoothly. But if, if Republicans retain the Senate and the Democrats retain the House, there is going to be opposition. We'll discuss this yesterday in the program. Um, Pelosi says that if the Democrats gain control of the Senate and retain control of the House, that they will fast track the stimulus package. The Democrats plan to fast track this with a special procedure called reconciliation. In the Senate, there are 100 seats, and you need 60 votes to pass a bill without resistance. Without the 60 votes, a bill can be blocked with a filibuster. Filibuster. How's that? To bypass any resistance, Democrats would invoke a special procedure called reconciliation so the bill can pass with a simple majority rather than the 60 votes required. There is a limit on how many times Congress can use this special procedure. But the Democrats plan to invoke it twice. The first is going to be on the stimulus package, and the second will be on adding information, basically making uh, improvements and additions to Obamacare next year. Well, he says that if the stimulus package passes this year, that there will be a, another stimulus package next year because help will be needed next year. The American Hotel and Lodging Association says that two out of uh, three hotels will not make it the next six months. According to the TSA, travel is down more than 50%. Last Tuesday, 750,000 people passed through the TSA checkpoint. One year ago, it was 2 million people. Uh, sorry. Since colder weather is kicking in, 40% of the restaurants will not, they will basically not make it into March in bankruptcy without additional stimulus. And the CDC eviction ban that lasts till the end of the year will basically be expired. And the past year rent is not forgivable. Renters are still required to pay the months that they missed. There are 35 million renters that are at risk of eviction when the eviction ban expires. If Trump loses Florida in elections, there's a slim chance that he will, he will, all, he will basically also lose the elections. Nancy Pelosi says that if Trump declares a premature victory or don't do a peaceful exchange of power when he loses, that she has a plan. She says that she and her team of lawyers are prepared, prepared for the worst of Trump and his disrespect of the Constitution in either scenario. In COVID-19 news, we have reported 84,089 cases and 557 deaths on Monday. So far to date, we have 231,000 deaths in the United States and have over 9 million COVID cases. So to all my viewers and subscribers, please be safe out there. Remember, you may not like the mask, but at least wear the mask to respect other people. Remember, stay safe out there because we're all in this together. Until next time, you guys have a excellent Tuesday and a great night.